So it is a real delight to be out here at Garden Time Nursery. I'm with Patty, and you are going to be one of the vendors uh, out at Subaru Garden Days today, aren't you? Oh, I'm so excited. About <laughs> I it. too. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the plants that you're actually going to have there. And my goodness, this one right here, this color of this yarrow is breathtaking. It is. This yarrow is part of the Tutti Fruity series. It's a little more compact, and it doesn't tend to split open so much yeah. with overhead watering. Really love it. It repeat blooms if you do a little deadheading. And then you'll see also this one is um, pink grapefruit, and this one right here with the bold red is called pomegranate. The color is amazing, but even the pink grape, that's just a beautiful plant. And is it because that one is just a little bit older? Is it, that's why it's a bit bigger? It is. This pomegranate was such a hot plant this spring. Yeah. This is our second crop. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> so what else do you have there? So we have um, a, a few more selections of things that are really drought tolerant once they're established. Yeah. And, and we have a lot of deer in Silverton. So um, we have deer resistant plants <laughs> and love them all. This one is a Coreopsis. Um, it's red satin. Oh, again, it, lovely color. Yeah, it is a beautiful color. It's a little tighter and smaller than some of the other reds that had come out, and it's also much hardier. Yeah. So that's a big bonus for us. So this will be just a mass of bloom, and then after the blooms start to fade rather than deadheading, I'm a bit of a lazy gardener. <laughs> I ponytail it up give it a bit of a haircut and it'll flush and bloom all over again throughout and I, the summer. I don't think that's lazy. That just is smart to me because it's they're very easy to do that with. Yes. Very simple plant. It's a great one. So again, oh. trying to find things that have a long bloom yeah. time and give me a lot of bang for the buck. This is one of the newer lavenders. This particular one is called Platinum Blonde. It's an Angustifolia, so it's going to be one of the smaller varieties. Yeah. So about 18 inches by 18. The blooms will be, have that tight purple. Yeah. And uh, the variegated foliage is just oh, really on. lovely. How, that alone is so amazing, that foliage. And this is what you get to look at as an evergreen exactly. as well. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. Beautiful, Terrific. beautiful plant. And the fragrance, of course you can uh, Yeah, love that. <laughs> the fragrance on those is just wonderful. So I think we'll go ahead and talk about one of my favorites. I have just become fascinated with a lot of these dahlias yeah. lately, but especially uh, the Bishop of Canterbury, Bishop of Landa. The dark foliage ones, I have several varieties here um, today. and. They just add such a contrast in the garden. They do. It's again a nice one. The deer don't seem to like it. Water heavily and yeah. then let it dry out in between. So I don't have a lot of maintenance on this one as far as that goes. And you'll just get cut flowers all summer until frost. And I like it because even when not in bloom, again, with the foliage itself, such drama. Yeah. It's really beautiful. With the perennials, I think it's that's half the battle, yeah, is planning true. the foliage because yeah. the bloom is a shorter bloom time. And so you really want to enjoy the garden the way that the, uh, the foliage colors yeah. look. So let's talk about one more. What is this? This looks like a salvia to me. This is a salvia. You know, typically we don't do a lot of really tenders at this nursery here, but this one's worth it. It's a, about a zone seven. It's salvia hot lips and it'll be a, a white and red bicolor. It will bloom all summer long with a little bit of deadheading, but the hummingbirds are so yeah. drawn to this plant. They are. It's so true. And I love these the together. Colors. Even. So I love that you've picked out a selection of plants to uh, take to Subaru Garden Days today that is really unique. They're drought tolerant. They're long blooming. It's a great idea. So if you're saying, I want some of those, you know where you can go. Subaru Garden Days. Stop by and see Patty and pick up some of these great blooming plants for yourself. Thank you so much, Patty. Thanks, William.